All right, y'all. So we're here at the shop. He literally did a no call, no show. Yeah, I texted him. No, he didn't. You I texted him. Did. I'm like, I called him at. You're, you're supposed to come in at five. Damn, your voice, My man. voice is horrible, by the way, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell. You can obviously tell, but I've been sick. But tomorrow's my gonna be my first day off in like four months. So hey. he, um, I texted him. I was like, "Yo, why are you not here? It's like 5:30," and he's like, "I'm still at work at his other job." Um, and then I was like, what? "All right, whatever." And he didn't text me the rest of the day, and he didn't even show up. So I guess uh, people just do whatever they want here. <laughs> no, they don't even want to give me approved with 50 down. Listen, guys, if you don't have credit, go establish your credit right now. Because I could have the most money in the fucking world, but I can't buy anything. Alright, is there any car salesman out there? This makes no sense. If I want to go buy a car that count, that costs just a made-up number, we're going to say $95,000. And I walk in a dealership with no credit, but I walk in with $50,000 cash? You're not going to sell me the car? Like, how does that make any sense? I walk in there with 50,000, which is 50% of what the car's worth. You're not gonna give me the benefit of the doubt that I have six years to finish paying it off. And plus, if I fell, dude, you already sold half the car. So you win big time. It makes no sense to me. Literally, it just makes no, it makes no sense to me. It makes no, literally, it makes no sense. If there's any car guys out there, please, car salesman, please let me know. That shit makes no sense to me. This thing is stressing. Look at this. Yeah, it makes no sense. And they called me and they said that they want my bank statements. And I have, I have no bank statements. I have no credit either. <laughs> <laughs> How are you 28 but you have no credit? It's a long story, bro. I'm exhausted, honestly. I'm like mentally like just like over being here all day every day. Because I'm literally here all day every day. So it's kind of, it's kind of, it's definitely mentally exhausting. But I mean, that's what comes with uh, running a business. So yeah. That's kind of the boat I'm on right now. And I, I feel sick, I'm, I feel like super sick. My throat Marquitos hurts. Fall. It's this guy's fault right here. Marquitos works with kids. Yeah. So he brings home all the diseases. He brings home every disease. Nah, I didn't get nobody. Even, <laughs> sex, <laughs> even <laughs> sexual diseases. I don't have any sexual well, diseases. You You're the one that got me sick, bro. Yeah, it's fat cat, bro. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's an asshole. Um, all these fools always stay touching me and shit. <laughs> pause, wow. pause. How many times he touches me a day? What? Pause. <laughs> Yo, chill. That shit weird, bro. Y'all like bite from this fool always touching me and shit. He's upset. All right, so my boy Antoine just came in. He's like, bro, I have 400 bucks. I need some shoes for Friday. So I'm trying to find him something outside the box. That shit. So the thing is, I have a little thing going on on Friday where I got to gotta pick a whole new fit, a whole new outfit. You guys know. Tell when you... Got going on. Tell okay, so Friday, I'm hosting a club in LA, it's called uh, Los Globos. I don't know if you guys have ever heard it, but it's in downtown LA, so we're hosting a club right there. And obviously, if I'm gonna be hosting something, we're gonna have mad people there. There's gonna be other celebrities, there's gonna be other influencers, there's gonna be other females. So I gotta look as fly as I can. So I'm right here, I came to heaven, so I knew heaven had like the flyest gear. So we're here right now, deciding because, again, I need that fire fit, so. We're deciding what shoe to get. My budget's four hundred dollars, size nine. Broke moment, not gonna lie. <laughs> four hundred up. Yeah. But Marco, I know Marco and Angel have like the best taste. I know this motherfucker has the craziest taste right here. Like, look at this shoe he got on right there. He's already trying to build around that. What can we build around this? What, what do you think? Like a shirt? Bro, literally, I can go to your house and style you. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you need, bro. I mean, I hope. A little stylist moment. I'm down. Bro, you don't like this shoe? I do. Like this shoe is actually pretty clean. Especially with like spring, summer yeah, coming around. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hold on to this shoe. What else have we got? What else have we got? I'm gonna hold on to this. This one's actually pretty fire. I think I'm gonna be on stage most of the time, so I don't okay. think I'm gonna be like getting stepped on. If I get stepped on, someone's else gonna get stepped on for sure. <laughs> You're not fucking with him. No, I do. I do. That's what I'm saying. Be like, honest, I want. No, I am. Sure. I really am. I swear on everything I am. But I, I need like different options to be like, all right, I feel yeah, like you're for not sure. fucking with him, bro. I'm fucking with him, man. All right, all right, he's fucking with him. I'm, I'm fucking with him. him. I'm just so tired right now. Like, I'm dead. Like, this last weekend, bro, we went like Thursday, we went to Santa Barbara, got drunk. Friday, we went to LA, got drunk. Saturday, we went to LA again, got even more drunk. Like, sounds like you need to take a break, bro. I do, low key, I really do. Do you have the video of the Sunday wearing the heaven hoodie? So, pretty much, we went to a club in LA to go film and get some videos going on. And I was standing in line, and as we were recording, as we were taking the buzzball shots, as we were pre-gaming in line, I look to my left, and I see, I see sen, like the, like the, like the half of the sen and the half of the um, and I was like, I was like, hola, 
Yeah. Hey, shout out to everybody who copped that one. If you have it, you have it. It's never coming out again. I just got a haircut and like my hair is like all over my body and it's fucking annoying. And then this guy's here. He's a random kid, dude. <laughs> He's been in the shop all day, just following us around. What's your name, bro? Bro, you really I, I, I don't know your name. What's bro, me? I've been here since I know, you've like. I've been here before, a year but. Ago, not a year ago. You're a. Bro, we opened. We only opened a month ago. I've been here since a month. What's your name? Devin. Huh? Devin. That's my boy Devin. That's good, bro. My bad. I, I just, I just had to get you in the video real quick. Yeah, you, now you're introduced. Oh, I've always been here, bro. Oh, you, I, I know. I've seen him once or twice before, but he has not been here for a whole year. <laughs> oh, he's, bro. He pulls up with Tony. He pulls up with Tony. That's true. Hey, but. Is it raining already? Nah. nah. It's tomorrow. I think rain should be. Season rain over. It should be season. I think it's over. Fucking hate the rain. Yeah. Nah, I think it's gonna rain till Wednesday and Thursday. Oh. He's, um. He's at school today. Yeah, he's in elementary, bro. What? He's a fifth grader. He's a fifth grader. That's crazy. I didn't know that. What? what? I did not know Santi was in fifth grade. <laughs> he just turned 11. Yeah, so huge shout out to all the people who come into the store. And um, they repost all of their uh, pickups on Instagram. Appreciate y'all. This is what you get. You get a repost. Boom. Throw a nice little caption. Appreciate you. For coming in, you know, give him a little heart. Why not, right? Boom. <laughs> Shout out everybody who pulls up on this and repost it to the Instagram. Okay, he's fit. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was right. like, oh, I was like, oh. <laughs> Yo, he's all bent on nasty right here. What size is it? Eight and a half. I think we found the shoes, boys. I think. Huh? That's the winner? I think this is it. I think this is the one. Lindsay? Alright, let's give a poll. Which one did you guys choose? Left or right? I think I'm picking left. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm picking left. Left or right? It's just the right. The right one stand out. But the left one. I feel like it's because like these are like a shoe like I'd probably wear. You could wear this a lot more. Yeah, I'd wear this one a lot more. This is the one. <coughs> this is the one. Got you. Hey, your budget was four hundred dollars. Yes, sir. Your total was three ninety eight seventy six. Three ninety eight. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you want to show the camera? Yeah, show the camera. Show the camera. So, so the budget I... was three ninety eight. No, the budget was four hundred. I'm retarded. Budget on the dot. Budget was four hundred. We came to three ninety eight. I don't know. That was awesome. I bet. Good job. What the fuck is this? We're hunting for Marcos. This is what it's like. We're hunting rabbits. We're hunting Marcos. Where is he? I could have sworn he was back here. Where is this guy? I found him. Where you got that on camera? He got it on camera. True. Like everyone knows it's true. I do all the big tasks. And I don't get credit for it. Yeah, I do the big tasks. No, but like compared, I'm not gonna say no names, but compared to other people, I actually work, bro. Like. He be coming here, do this for like two hours. I'm back there. I can't do this. This guy's complaining about doing his job. I mean, half the time he's sitting on his ass on his phone. More than half the time. So. I'm thirsty. Marquito's a good guy. Though. I love him. What is this? That's gonna be it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. This one was just a regular day in the shop video. We, uh, we did a lot of selling in, in the shop today. We organized a bunch of inventory and we had a lot of uh, discussion going on. So. We'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys 
later.